Hello, this is Alexey. In previous video tutorials we create responsive company website from scratch with a blog, portfolio and upload it to the hosting. In this video tutorial we will talk about Joomla modules. Module is one of the Joomla extension which is mainly designed to display something on the website in the or in admin panel. Module can display text, photos, gallery, video, player, form, menu, news, list, currency rate, language switcher and much more. Modules are located in template positions. There are hundreds of paid and free modules for Joomla. Some modules are built in, in Joomla. By installing many third-party components, you automatically install their modules. Let's start with module management. You can go to modules by clicking this button or you can get to the modules from content site modules or from system site modules. You can sort modules by title, position, type, page and so on. Also you can search for modules, for example like this. You can filter them by status, position, type, menu item and access level. You can reduce the amount of columns in this table, for example disable ID, access, page and so on. You can change number of modules display on this page by selecting this option. Also you can select order in here. You can select all modules, one module or several modules. You can publish them, unpublish, trash, duplicate and batch. For example, change language, access level and position. How to work with batch operations we will look in next video tutorials. You can delete some module, move it to trash. You can check trashed modules and delete it forever. As you can see, for each module there is a template position. For example, here is our login module, login form, it placed in sidebar right. Let's see how you can identify your template positions. Go to System, Site Template Styles, I am using Cassiopeia template this is template by default. In your case it can be another template, but in all cases we can use option Preview Model Position. Now let's go to site. To see module positions add this query to your URL. Just click Enter and now we can see module template positions. For example, sidebar right for our login module. Here we can see no modules, but we can see that there is sidebar left for our modules that we can create. Write down all positions you need and after that disable this option. Now let's go to modules and create our first module. There are several built-in modules. For example, I will work with custom module. I will call it custom1, add some text, just for example. Select the position, in my case it will be sidebar left. And now just save it. Updating the page and we can see our custom module 1. Let's create one more module, for example like this. The position will be the same, we can search it in the list or enter it here. Also we can create save and new, this will be the same module type.
or we can create a module by clicking Save as Copy. In this case, we need to change some options and just publish it. As you can see, there are no module custom 3 and 4. Why? Because here in position, I forgot to select position for custom 4 and custom 3. Now let's update and now we have all our four modules. And now let's see how to change module ordering. Open filter options, select your position, in my case this is sidebar left, click here and now let's move module 1 under module 3. Just press left button mouse and move the module in position you need. As you can see, the ordering was changed. Let's move module 4 in the top. That's how you can change model ordering. But also there is another way. For example, let's move custom module 1 under module 3. For this purpose, go to custom 1 and here in ordering select module 4. Save it. Update the page and now we can see our custom 1 under custom 3. Let's work with module settings. For different module types there are different tabs with settings and the same tabs have different settings. For example, this is article category module type, costume, login, menu and smart search. As you can see, there are different tabs and on the same tabs, for example module, there are different options. Let's work with the similar tabs and similar options for all modules. I will work with our custom 1 module. Let's move it to the top. Now it's first module. Earlier in the video we already work with these settings. As you can see, this title is displayed here. You can hide it. Also we worked with positions, status and ordering. As for start and finish publishing, you can set data and time to start module publishing automatically and finish module publishing also automatically. Or you can just set finish publishing data or start publishing data. Here in the note you can for example add some note and it won't display anywhere here but you can see it here. The next tab is menu assignment tab. This is very important tab. By default all modules show on all pages. For example, let's look at our pages and we can see all our modules displayed on all pages. But we have other options. For example, display modules on no pages. Now I work in just with custom module 1, but these options are the same for all modules. Update the page and now we don't see our module at all. We can choose only on the page selected, for example on our modules page. Just here and here we already do not see our module 1. Or we can select other pages, for example My Test 2. And now it will show here 
and here, but won't show, for example, here. Or we can select on all pages except those selected. Now this model will show on all pages except My Test 2 and Modules. Let's update our page and we can see it here, 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 but we won't see it here and here. You can use these tools to select and deselect all menu items. About menu items and menus you can learn from our previous video tutorial. Also here you can select all of them, none of them, you can extend all menus or none of them, or you can search for some menu item, for example, like this. I will change on all pages and let's go to Advanced tab. Advanced tab contains options for expert users, for example, module class, header class, here you can add CSS class and change the design of this module or its header. Also here you can change, for example, header tag. Let's see our example, let's see our header tag and it's h3. If you need to change it, you can change to h1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and also you can select paragraph tag. In most cases it's used for SEO and now you know how to change the module header tag. Also, there are some built-in styles, for example, you can change module style. And now it's look like this. Here on permission tab, you can set different permission for different actions for different user groups. With user groups and access levels we will work in next video tutorials. And now let's see how to insert Joomla module, for example, here in the article. Let's insert our custom one module here. Let's go to our articles, find our article and select this option and module. Here we can insert our module, for example, custom one. Update the page and now we can see our module. Also, we can insert the whole position, for example, sidebar left updated and we can see all our four positions. Also, we can insert module by using some tag. Let's find our plugin. It's called load module. Here we need to copy this tag. Let's go to our article, replace this tag, save. Now we won't see anything. This is because there is no module in user1 position. You can change module position, but first you need to enter it here. I will call it, for example, test test. As you can see, nothing happens. Now go here, module, and change user1 position to test test. And now we can see our module inside the article. I hope this and other Joomla video tutorials have helped you with this CMS. In the next video tutorial we'll look at Joomla templates and styles. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Also, don't forget subscribe to my channel.
Thanks for watching. This is Alexey. See you soon in new tutorials.